Latinos in the U.S. have one of the highest uninsured rates compared to other groups, and many have never been insured. You know, they don't know what a copayment is, they don't know what a premium is. If you've never been insured, and even those that have health, health insurance coverage, find it very hard to understand and to navigate the system. So we know that um, addressing health disparities and promoting health equity begins with putting everybody in the same level, playing level field. So by having access to health insurance coverage is just one step of getting Latinos in the door to healthcare. But in order for them to, in order for all of us to, to stay healthy, we need to know how to use, best utilize that health insurance coverage. So we talk to families about understanding coverage, the various levels of coverage, so that then they can make decisions, the best decision for themselves and their families, about what makes sense for them. And we actually um, use health insurance coverage and health insurance literacy concepts to promote health, to promote preventative screenings, whether it's blood pressure screenings. We also promote physical activity, nutrition, um, as a way to emphasize wellness and a culture of health in our community. Overall, my research is focused on promoting, advancing health across generations. And so far, I have found that by focusing on older adults, older Latinos, especially older Latina women, um, that that is a successful way to reach the family. In many Latino families, uh, the older adults, the, especially grandmothers, they are central to keeping their family healthy. They care for their grandchildren. And so getting messages across to uh, older Latinas, we ensure that the family then has those uh, health uh, motivational aspects to their family staying healthy. Very excited about joining the Penn faculty and students. Being here allows me the opportunity to get to know and work with faculty that are in, in various areas that are known for their research, whether it's economics, the built environment, pediatrics, and so adding that level of, of expertise to this research, I think will truly be able to help me elevate this work to sort of that next level of transforming healthcare and healthcare systems by including experts from various fields.